Okay, what are we on? To nine. Yep. Yeah. Um, yeah, red dots are accumulating. Let's just have a look around. Yep, more of them there. More of them there. Uh, yeah, a bunch of LMG. Oh, those are pretty large LMG sections. They almost like a full infantry squad. Interesting. Um, I so I'm suspecting some of these probably took some shots here. Um, I see if this looks like there's been any casualties. Anyway, the easiest way to find that out is in the replay. out of that hex. Um, fortunately there was enough scatter there that it uh, a few others. Okay, so let's check suppression of uh, formation leaders. Um, and I might as well zoom out so we can look around. Well, not with this, not with this pass, but in the next one. Uh, So continue on. Uh, this will be a slower pass. Um, checking suppression, looking around. Being careful not to misclick. See anything anyway? Um, no suppression, no suppression, no suppression, no suppression. Um, uh, we'll look, we'll look later. I won't, won't go back. Hmm. No suppression. They didn't fire at these guys, so okay. They moved three. He's moving four. Okay. That's, pro that's, a, that's at least a couple of hexes, so he's moved pretty quickly there. Uh, but that's probably only one hex because of the slope. Um, the slope adds. The movement on the slope is three, I think, if I remember correctly. Um, but we can only see that one. See that one. Let's look around. Yep. So far, just the one. Still got a little bit of suppression on him. Um, you can see that one now. Um, hmm. Getting across this road will be tricky. Hmm. Now, more, li more than likely, he's, he's got line of sight on them and has range set, so... Yeah. Wait for me to step onto the road and then I get shot to pieces. Um, hmm. Hmm, this is gonna be tricky. Yeah, this is definitely gonna be tricky. see two. Okay, we see this one over here. The guys over here have disappeared. That's not good. Um, yeah, he's not good. Uh, yeah, he's not good. Um, okay, so we have 
and that, and that. That helps. Um, that helps quite a lot, actually. Um, well, maybe not a lot, but some. Uh, hmm. If the, if the mortars had line of sight, I could probably use them to fire immediately. Um, uh, no, that's not going to happen. Uh, the enemy's seen one, so we can be seen from there, but I doubt we can... See, speak, enemy seen doesn't mean this what it says. <laughs> it should be enemy in line of sight. Um, really, because... Just because I can... Just because he's in line of sight doesn't mean that we've seen each other, really. Really. Um... Well, hopefully he hasn't seen me. <laughs> Obviously I've seen him. But the thing of it is, I mean, that he might not be the one who spotted them first. It's somebody else that did. And he just happens to be in line of sight, so... Because of the all-seeing eye of the player, um, he's visible. He was seen by that unit, even though he actually wasn't. Um, which is a really complicated way of saying it does work very well. But anyway, um, okay, so... Yeah, so these guys here are actually in line of sight of some of these, um, but they're not going to be very helpful at all. So, whoop de doo um, I actually moved them out of there uh, and replace them with mortars, I guess. That's a possibility. Um, I just don't know where the support team should be going. That's what I'm struggling with, I guess. It's not obvious how to use them um, in these circumstances. Okay, uh, okay some scouts. Uh, definitely want to look around with these in case they see something. No, nope, he's definitely avoiding moving very fast in this area, unlike in other areas. But he doesn't need to because he well he could move fast back here and it wouldn't matter. Um, no suppression there. Um, no suppression there. But he is suffering combat friction, so his movement is going to be a bit sluggish. Um, He, he must have popped out again. Um, the weird thing is, he you would have retreated back to this hex, though. So, because when he pulled back, oh, I don't know, maybe he pulled back in this direction, because he didn't take that one. So, I'm not really sure. Actually, I'm not sure when a unit's retreating or pulling back, does it actually, can it take a victory hex? I'm, I guess it can. I don't. I don't think the computer, the game is that sophisticated. Um, old games not really understanding them. Um, okay, so eh, let's look around just in case there's any more information to be had. Uh, this is this is bad. This is going to be tricky. Um, yeah, I wish I was closer now. I wish I'd moved one more one more turn. I wish I wish I'd moved uh, moved up um, at that full speed, because then I'd be across the road already. <sighs> well, I I sometimes I'm just too damn cautious. <laughs> and actually, I mean it 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 works. It's working it's working against me because um um. I'm not not able to achieve any achieve a result here, so uh, well. Hopefully, we can work through it. Now you can see three there. They're all in. They're all actual targets. I don't think any of them are worth firing at, though. Fifteen hexes. That's not too bad. Um, yeah, they they're a bit far back, but not much you can do about it. 
Not much you can do about it. Um, actually, he has 6%. That's interesting. Curious one, I'm curious that he has... I'm wondering why he has 6%. Because he's moving six. Yeah, okay, so he moved. Um, okay, but that's just the movement on the slope, so that's just. He moved two hexes. Or maybe even three. He might have moved on to the top, um, which would be one, and then down the slope. No. Yeah. He was on the top already, and then he moved six. He moved two hexes on the slope there, and. There, yeah. Just uh, moving on a slope is three points, so that's what, probably what that means, I think. Um. Hmm. Or should we cancel that artillery, or maybe redirect it? I don't know. Um, these guys are moving pretty fast. Um, might be able to, might be able to shift it. That might might work. But actually, I think that's already cancelled. It's just lying. The game lies about whether you're actually going to get another salvo. Um, okay, so that, these guys on the high ground definitely have the advantage. Now, we're in line of sight of them. Um, Side of this, it's more more. Con I'm more concerned about the ones that disappeared. They must have moved back this way. Um, I think. Uh, up there. And up there. And there. And there. Let's look around with him. Okay, nothing changed. Hmm. I don't you can see anything. Well, I can see a little bit, but not very useful. Obviously, should not be able to see anything, otherwise, I didn't do that very well in the last turn. Okay, so these guys are probably gonna come into action right now, I think. Um. These guys are, I think, well, these guys are in the open now. I'm really, really actually regretting not moving at least one more turn at full speed. I slowed down way too early. Um, yeah, I really got to fix that. I had an opportunity and threw it away. Now, I don't know how I'm going to do this because I have to assume that he's got a, a range set that would, I have to assume he's seen me. Um, And him. There's nobody moving around on top of that. And these scouts are way too close um, to the LMG. <laughs> so I think I can assume that. 
they've well they they've seen me they and it, they've set a range that if I move they will hit me when I hit, step onto the road so I gotta put some suppression on them well I gotta put a lot of suppression on them before I can try to, to move here so I need to advance um, going back doesn't really seem I mean they they put halfway if they move back they're gonna get shot at anyway um, yeah I mean, there's, there's, the slopes provide, this slope will provide good, as good protection as those trees. So, uh, the problem is getting there. Um, yeah, I mean, the thing of it is, how far back this is, <laughs> it, it's, it's a 50-50 thing, it might as well keep moving forward, I think. Assuming I can do it without totally getting wiped out, I don't know. Hmm. Now I have... I have sight from him and him, so I don't know what kind of a chance he has of hitting, not much, it's 11, it's pretty long range um, for him. Actually, he's got a pretty good line, it's a pretty good shot, because he's down to 8 hexes, so he would have to move closer um, before he can be of use. Uh, he gets a shot, but whether now whether he, if he, if that fires back at him, <laughs> see what is he? What are they equipped with? Because it's quite a large L, quite, quite a large squad. Um, let's see. Um, look at they have a hell of a lot of what, like it really is an LMG section. I mean, they, well, the only thing they equip with is <laughs> it, is, is LMGs, I think. Um, actually, no, they have two. These are rifles, I think. Um, was that the LMG? I can't remember. I'm not sure. Um, but anyway, it's quite a large squad. I mean, if, when, like, this is an LMG, German LMG squad, and they definitely do not have that much. Um, so, well, they're certainly not five men, it looks like. Um, the, the, the squad looks like it's a five-man squad. Actually, yeah, five, no, a six, six-man squad, which is quite a lot. Uh, as I'm guessing they must be carrying two LNGs then. Um, it's basically the equivalent of one of these, of, of, of this LMG platoon, really. Um, anyway, they're carrying quite a lot of firepower, and there's two of them here. Um, that is a lot of firepower right there. Um, treat with respect. I'll, I want to keep moving forward. I've got to figure out how to do it. <coughs> got to try and figure out how to do it without totally getting wiped out. Um, I don't. If I don't push forward, then you know it's. I'm not going to learn anything when it, when it comes right down to it. Um, I think I can... I might, I'm might. i considering moving forward here, I don't know. Um, it really depends on where he's put a scout out that I haven't seen. Um, cause he hit that one because that's the last place he knew I got he was attacked from. So, I'm, so I, that's the reason I moved him out. Um, Now, if you move somebody into there, I'm not going to know. Yeah, so there could be somebody in there and I'm not going to, I wouldn't be able to tell, unfortunately. Or can I? No. Okay, so basically we'd know nothing. Um, forward if I would attempt that, uh, moving forward there would result in three hex, three possible hexes of unknowns. That would result in two possible hexes of unknowns. Um, yeah, I mean, that's what... 
two years well. Yeah, I think this is, uh, I don't know. Well, uh, I th I'm gonna continue moving these guys forward, I think. It's, 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 uh, I can't see a reason not to anymore uh, at this point. Um, by the time I find a reason to not move them forward, it's probably too late anyway. So, um, looking around, just in case, before I move. Um, I'm going to move off the road, so let's move this group that way, so we can try and get a line of sight behind there. Hmm. Main problem is, um, actually, he can see pretty far. He can see that one and you can actually see behind there as well. Now it doesn't mean it doesn't mean there's nobody there. <laughs> as I've explained many times, if they if they have, if they haven't moved, um, we ain't spotting them. Not at this range, anyway. Okay, so let's put him there. Not a useful position. I'm just gonna move him forward first. Yeah, the main problem here is if, is that he's going to be on his own if somebody takes spots him and takes a shot. He's no I well I have no idea where it came from. But such a is how it's gonna have to be. up here yet. Again, they probably just not uh, not moving. Um, okay, so these scouts, I don't know. Um, Probably artillery fire coming in here in the next turn. At the, at the end of this, at the end of my turn again, so might not be a good idea to move into that one just yet. Um, Scout. I really should have left that scout up here so that he could move forward when um, things had got quiet because now I have no idea. If, he's probably put a scout in there, um, but it wouldn't actually help him either because he wouldn't be able to see anything from there. Um, now, actually, he probably would put something else in there because that's more useful. Um, do here. Uh, well, I can only move one.
I don't know. Um, I'm gonna leave that for a moment. Yeah, I don't think anything else is gonna be any easier to any any easier decisions though. Um, so the scouts are probably not moving forward anymore. Oh, maybe. Well, that one probably is not. Um. I think this one will. Uh, seeing somebody very far away. Uh, let's look around. see is behind these trees here and that's probably where the units that were here that's probably where they went I think okay uh, in the center are the scouts moving forward um, not yet we got to put some suppression on these guys first so that's gonna have to wait okay so well and uh, back to you. Now, where am I going to send them up? This way? Is that helpful? No. When every building they enter, they might like to get hit from three different sides, right? Just, just in case. Um, you never know. Shouldn't be able to. I mean, he's got buildings right in front of him there. That looks, yeah. So he's not, hasn't been spotted from anywhere else, as far as I know. Um, so actually, I'm, I'm, maybe I won't move the scouts in front of them because it doesn't make any sense anymore to do that. Um, the scouts will just die. Um, they're gonna they're gonna run into something that they can't handle. Now, <clears throat> this is exactly like moving through trees. I think I think um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know for sure. Um, my my, mm, my experience is it tells me that it isn't. You, uh, my experience tells me you can tend to get spotted a lot easier around buildings, um, probably because of the height. Um, uh, I'm, it's not really clear how the game's handling that. Because even you can see onto the onto the top of a building, um, so but you can't see past it. So there's height there. Like that says height 15, but that, there's also a slope. So is that the slope or the height of the building? <laughs> like this, uh, this is height 10 building, right? Um, so. Okay, that's only the building height. So there must be when movie you move on to that, is you 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 become more visible. I think that's how it works. So really, the scouts would not be actually be that well hidden. Um, when you're moving around in trees, you're actually con there's actual concealment. I think because the line of sight's much more restricted. Um, well, the chances of being spotted are much more. Not line of sight because line of sighting and spotting in the game are kind of separated right now, I think, so, um, I do need them to go looking for stuff though, so, I think I'm going to push them across the side, and pr I think this infantry will probably attempt to, maybe they'll hold here for a turn, see what shows up, I mean, trying to push for that is not really a serious objective because if I take 
If I lose the entire platoon and try to take those, then it's not worth it. And the platoon's worth <laughs> the platoon's worth 85 points, and there's uh, 80 points there, right? So that 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 told that points is not taking those victory axes will not will just balance an entire platoon, and the platoon's actually worth more um, in in total points than a then because 85 points is how much it costs and it's not it's, it's, it's actually more than that um because i think each one is probably 20 points so you know looking at 60 points right there 80 points there um and if you well Zofia probably wouldn't get killed anyway because he's not gonna be in the, in the middle of the thick of the combat so 80 points there um for the actual one uh, sections, and there's 80 points there, so it's not worth it. It's just, it's just, you know, <laughs> might as well hold on to those points, and um, yeah, you might as well hold on to those points, and not, not actually try too hard. Which is, which explains why this battle seems to be very slow paced, because neither side is too enthusiastic about trying to take those. Um, so he's probably a bit surprised that I'm out here in the open because it doesn't really make sense that I would need, need to do that unless I was serious about taking those right but you know if I'm trying to create an opportunity and so far hasn't worked out now actually I'm thinking I might use these scouts to actually look around here so that I can put um, these LM these the LMG in here um, because right now they can't really see anything that way. Um, so, we'll, we'll move them this way. And we'll move him there. Okay. All the scouts have moved except the ones in the center um, because that's going to require combat. Uh, so this entire area can't really move um, yet. So, now, next thing is do these guys move forward or do they stay? I think it's just it's not worthwhile moving forward. Um, I don't think he'll. I'd, I have serious doubt that he would actually not try to come forward here. Um, I mean, I, in the next turn, I just I think he'll take those um, simply because he can. Um, that will put him slightly ahead in points, but I don't know if it's gonna really gonna matter that much in this one. Um, he might move shift it from being a draw to a minor defeat or something. Um, now, I mean, the, the, my goal was to move these ones up along the side of it. And try to move them around this year to move to move in on this side, from this direction, um, because it's a little bit more, a uh, little better possibility. However, I mean they are exposed to that side. Um, so, but anyway, we're going to continue to do that. So these guys will move up this way. Not in a good position. They also can't be seen, so that's all right. And when it comes down to it, I'm just trying stuff. It's not... I don't know what I'm doing, so I'll just keep trying stuff. I mean, why not? Um, I think it needs to move forward. Yeah. Maintain contact. I'll move them this way. Okay, that platoon's moved. Um, I think I'm gonna hold these guys here. Now, um, I, I, 
Based on what I saw in a few turns ago, if he moves uh, his scout out to this position, we will see him, um, and he dies. <laughs> so that's probably why the scout hasn't been moved out um, in a place where he could be attacked. I mean, if he moves into a position where the, the scouts would see him, they wouldn't opportunity fire because their guns are turned off. Um, and their range is set to zero, so they, they it's not, there's no chance of them actually firing at anything. Um, which would give the impression that they haven't been, that, you know, they haven't, the, the enemy that moved into position hasn't been spotted, right? So which would make him think that he's, you know, he can do something else in that area. Now, the side is kind of exposed. I don't really have any. Uh, I don't have this area well covered. So, um, now if I've been seen in this area, the mortars will the mortars will land in the in these axes. They'll which will be rather belated proof of that. But there's nothing I can do. Uh, you know, there's really no no place to go. I mean, I, I, if I move forward, I can do one hex, um, and then I'm on this side. I'm in in a bad bad position because um, I'm, there's bound to be enemy units behind the buildings here, right? Uh, probably one there, uh, and one you know in these hex in these positions here that haven't been you know they. Why I can't see, so eh, you know what I mean. It, buildings, pain in the ass. Um, okay, so I gotta try. I to see if I can get some suppression on them. I don't know whether that's gonna be easy. Um, now let's see if the cool wagon gets fired at. Okay, well you can see by one. Why can we not see the other one? Um, okay, well that's not too bad. Got an LMG that can hit him from there. We also have um, a tank that could move forward to there and probably hit one of them. So we'll have to look at that. Um, okay. But it's move it's these infantry here. I think they're still moving forward. Um, I'm a wee bit concerned though. Let's see if there's any chance of Right, so if I move um, under the road, again, we have to cross the road. Nobody, nobody had was close by that had had them set had a, that has a range set that would hit be able to opportunity fire there. So I'm going to um, take that chance, take a chance and move forward again. Um, I didn't move him, did I? Yeah, he didn't move. Um, I 
she would like to get him off the road, but da -da -da -da. Hmm. let's put him here. Okay, still in the visual. Let's look around. It's the only the one enemy seen. Okay. That's a pretty good shot, considering it's... Well, it's probably with the LMG. Yeah. See if we can do something with this. Um, he's, he must have moved at least two hexes, so. Hmm. I can do. So I'm gonna move. And there, so that's all we can do. Probably all I can do. Now, I 
it's an LMG, so if I open up, he's probably gonna just opportunity fire back. Um. Again. Okay, uh, that's it. Um, well, okay, well, he's suppressed. <laughs> well and truly. Uh, I'm not gonna fire again. So now I'm gonna risk moving forward. I don't know if this is a good idea. I need to get these guys off the road anyway. Um, Nobody opportunity fired. Yay. Okay. Decide which 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 directions. That's probably the most predictable direction direction. So if I move there, very very high probability that he'll get hit with mortars. Um, move there. Ah, it's the same deal. Um, I mean, it doesn't really change the fact he'll be on the road for a whole turn. So, no. Um, let's go this way. that movement I think, uh, I think the scouts will stay still until these guys get across the road because um, right now if I move forward they won't be able to see much more and they'll be very close to these guys well probably still quite dangerous um, on the other hand the slope will give him more cover And I think it's unwise to stay in one place too long, so... Um, 
Well, yeah, because I should have moved them first. I should have moved them first. Um, no, we'll leave them. We'll leave them. Let's uh, see what happens. Now, I don't know. Um, that's probably a bad idea to leave them there. So I don't know what else is around that I haven't seen. You know what I mean? So, now if he stays there, he actually will maintain line of sight on him and actually will get a better shot next turn. So I think I will leave him there. Um, thing is, I'm pretty sure I move him back. You know, the, I should move him. I'll, I'll think about it. I, I, I think it's better I'd maybe move him back into the trees. Um, I think he loses line of sight though because of the height one. Although, I mean, he's pretty high up, so maybe, maybe. No, not helpful. So take another turn before he can be of help. Um, but if I move him back into the trees, um. What I might do is move him, actually move him towards that side. But I no, I'm gonna leave him there. I actually want to use these trees for the. I'm gonna move the the um, uh, commander up that way. Move them up. Um, well. He's in contact, so he could call in water fire. Uh, yeah, see, it's already cancelled because I can't. I mean, that's they, they're available. That's actually out of range. Yeah, so they have to move forward. Eh, it's here. Uh, 28. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> 48. That's not. That's okay. Um, 44. Okay, we're not too bad. Um, the drop mortars there. Right, pretty late though. Unfortunately, that one seems to be quite slow. Hmm. No, cancel. No, let's not do it yet. Okay, so I'm not going to move them. I'm actually thinking I might move the waters further up. Um, they're not going to be much good. So actually, now I'll change the plan. I think I'm going to move him that way, and the um, and the um, the Panzer Jagers will move back um, to there. Yeah. So we'll move uh, the mortars up. Yeah. Well, I mean, the play, the 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 tech, the, they like more likely to be needed over a year. So actually pushing them forward is probably not a bad idea. Um, do they have radios? Uh, no, they don't. So actually separating them too far away from their commander is not a good idea. In case they need to be rallied. Um, Yeah. Um, 
gonna leave him there. Let's, let's not move the motors yet, I think. Um, I don't know. The, well, they're not going to be able to reach this point anyway, the, the, um, this turn. Anything else that needs to be moved? Uh, so I'll move the company commander this way, I think. And you can actually move two X's. He's not in line of sight of anything. It's, line of sight is completely cut off by the buildings. Because this platoon is moving in this direction anyway. Um, okay, so, uh, any other shots that need to be taken here? These guys need to probably move back. Um, yeah, from here, he has a 6% chance. Tripod mounted machine guns, yes. Um, and that 6% turned out to be quite a better than expected result. Um, so we, we've pinned him, which means that his ability to spot is now quite suddenly, suddenly being reduced. Um, I think I can hit him with anything else, unfortunately. Um, That's only two percent. Two percent. Not with it. Not with it. Um. Now, um, might be, let's see if we can move him out this way. died. Alright, okay, that's... good job. <laughs> well done. Um... Alright, so, eh, let's recover these guys back to some cover. Um, I think I'm gonna change, I'm gonna move him to this side. Um, Line of sight up there. Uh, do I risk leaving him there? Well, you can only 
only sit there for one turn. If something moves in there and spots them, uh, which won't be difficult, the vehicles are spotted from very far away. Um, easy, very easily. It's a size the, 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 um, size two. Anything above size one is spotted quite easily. So. Um, Now, unless, of course, whatever moves in there gets shot at, uh, which actually can't happen. <laughs> Err. Err. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. You know what? I'm actually thinking I might move him back, because he's not actually going to do much good there. Um. Yeah, thing is, uh, I gotta look, uh, just quick, uh, quickly examine that again because I think I got an I. There might be a better idea to move him this side. Because um, the advantage of that is that that there can only be one attacker at any given time because he can't be attacked from that one, um, and that one's covered from over from this side. That one's covered from that side, so they could be attacker from there. Um, and I think that one's covered from that side as well. But here, I mean, if somebody moves, something moves in here, then uh, there's only one hex, so it's one on one. In this player position, it'd be could be possibly be three on one, right? Or, uh, or even two on one. So I think I should move that, rearrange that. Um, while I'm, what now that has occurred to me. Um, I moved him a bit far away, but that's all right. Um, yeah, they have radios, so and he, there's no need. No, probably not going to be any need for rallying. Um, and hopefully, he doesn't guess where that is, because <laughs> he will eventually, I think. Um, okay, so. Um, Else is there? It's really far enough. So let's look at this area again. I think I'm going to actually move him. Does he? If assuming he has movement, I'm actually going to move him back um, this way, which is a perfectly safe move, unless he gets hit with artillery, which case is a really dumb move. But I need to get him out of the way. He's not really in line of sight of anything, so. The fact that he's moved so fast isn't going to matter, and I'm going to put him here. I can actually hit that one, which is good, and, but he can't hit the side, which is not good. Um, I'm not sure why he can hit that one and not this one. No idea, that's very weird. Oh, because this is a height 10 building, and that's the height 5 slope building thingy. Anyway, yeah, okay. So you can actually see over that, um, it looks like. Yeah, okay. I guess. <laughs> Hard to know for sure. Um, so, like, in this position, he can only be attacked from that one hex. Um, and from this position, he can only be attacked from can be attacked from those two X's, but that one's covered. Um, so I just need to have I need to get cover into this this hex here. Um, so final decision: Do I move him or do I leave him? That's I put a lot of damage on that guy, so this unless there's another unit around here that's spotted where that two shots came from. Um, um well, it could be that one, not no, not that one, it's not in line of sight. Um so yeah, there'd have to be another unit to see where those two shots came from. And it's entirely possible is there is I mean I haven't seen this yes I did, there was a scout here, um, and I don't see them now. So that means they 
lying low and probably saw that. Yeah. So if they moved one hex, then I would have no idea where they are. Um. I think like, if I move him, he's not gonna know, he's not gonna have line of sight anymore. We'll risk it. We'll risk it. I, I'll probably regret it, I always do. I, you know, I, anything that I can think of, my opponent will think of as well. So, um, yeah, because there was a scout here, he wasn't destroyed, I don't see him anymore. So, um, you know, he was hit by the smoke at the time, but now I don't see him, so that means he was able to, to stop moving. He was, you know, he, was, he wasn't moving anymore, so he's disappeared. Um, yeah, that's, which is not good it, to take that out. Okay, any other artillery that I'm going to call in? Um, I want to decide whether they hit that unit, keep him pinned. Um, he's not going anywhere now. Uh, he's going to have to be rallied. Um, there's a very high probability that he's actually he's either retreating or routed. Um, so he's probably, he may not even be, be possible to rally him completely. I don't know. Um, this one's pinned. It didn't react to any, anything I did. Uh, my movements here, so he was sufficiently pinned even if his range was set high enough. Um, okay. Um, yeah, I don't really want to move to use the mortar, the, these mortars, um, in this in this way. I don't really want to call them in as artillery. I, th I think they might much better being used directly. Um, but that, you know, that does involve risk because they, <laughs> mortars are quite more vulnerable units, so, and there's no cover here. Now, uh, well, the thing of it is, in order for them to see, they would, they'd have to move pretty far forward, which is an issue, so, yeah. Okay, um... We're not calling that in yet. though unfortunately um okay which one what which one of these had okay let's do it damn slow. Uh, use the other one. I'm gonna do that. I think it'll be a little bit faster. Yep. Let in there. And... That's just out of range. Nope, that one's actually in range. Um, Ah, no, it's because it's line of sight, right? It's not, it's not actually... It is out of range, but it's actually not. <laughs> it's out of range for the, for the spotter. That's why the other one couldn't do it. Um... Yeah, not much 
much left in there. Use this one. Yeah, those LMGs are bad news. Gotta try and get, get, keep them suppressed. Um, otherwise, these guys are in real trouble. Now, he's probably got more of them on this side, though, so I gotta watch out. In fact, they're probably camping up here now, then covering uh, the advance of these guys. Um, but once, if they open up, then that's that helps. And I take, got rid of their scout, that helps a lot. Um, let's see, zoom out, anything else that needs to be taken care of. Um, so which one of these is actually firing? Not him. Him. He is. So he's gonna move. Yeah, so we'll move forward. So we'll keep moving the mortars forward, I think. Eight. Um, let's no. Let's reset to three. It's giving his position away, but let's not make it any worse than it already is. Um, range is three. Zero. Zero. Leave that at seven. Uh, 
Uh, he's covering those two hexes there. Okay, reset to ten. Uh, reset to ten. Reset to six. And we're done. That's in the turn.